Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever. We're in Switzerland, of course, and more specifically, Brig. Yeah, this uh, this station here is on the southern side of Brig, across the river. And it used to be very quiet, didn't it? Here comes our tram. And look at that for the bus over there. <laughs> That's what we're looking at. It's very busy. All of our buses are clumped together. And they're up on the other side. I'll talk shortly about the internet situation. But I'll give you a clue. I've got a cheesy grin on my face. So that went well. Now, quickly, we're getting straight into it today. All our buses are kind of this end. They will eventually spread out. But given the length of the journey down here, it's going to take a while, isn't it? So what I thought we'll do and then do the intro and talk about the internet is, uh, is add some more vehicles some more buses to this line it's going to need them until we can have a train on here which eventually we will we're going to have six more and we're going to put them on this end of the line and that should help the spacing just a little bit and we've got our new double decker buses there which are fantastic uh, we're going to have to color these manually aren't we uh, they're this red aren't they kind of in the middle that'll do it doesn't matter if they're different does it in fact <laughs> we could have them white right and then have a a few white and a few red do you know what let's do it let's have a few white and a few red and we're putting these on the this one isn't it the hundred now you'll be pleased to know there they are they're all coming out and these ones are in white so we've kind of got half in white and half in red all on the same line i like it i would imagine when we replace those let's hide the ui again i always get this uh, <laughs> in the comments and i do try to uh, reiterate what the, the some of them are skipping the bus look at that yeah and i do try and reiterate but to hide the ui is uh, the right alt key and g if you're on the pc i'm not sure on the mac i don't think you have an alt key so whatever it is on the mac I have no idea. So there you go. But you need debug mode enabled in the settings from the menu as well. And that's how I do that. Right then. Internet. Oh yes. I should, should point out. I've changed the buses on the line. I don't know whether I said that. But I have. Yeah, they're, they've all... I missed a couple. But they've been updated now. So uh, all of our buses are brand new. Internet. At first, it went horrible. <laughs> it had like 5 meg up, which is not far off what I average on my current connection. However, the very next day, dear oh dear, they, they actually turned on our package sort of thing. It was the default package is what we were set on until we signed all the contract. And as soon as we did that online, yes. <laughs> I got a nice 20 odd meg up, which is, as you can imagine, almost four times what I was getting before. So today is a little bit of an experiment as well. Uh, if we see a clock in this episode, it's actually half six in the morning. I normally start recording around three in the morning, somewhere like that, three or four, get up super early, record before work, and then uh, and it's all done. Uh, usually the day before as well but this is on the day this is thursday so fingers crossed a bit of a bit of experiment i'm so chuffed guys you know what i've had with internet issues <laughs> oh this makes my day anyway our new bus service that's been expanded but we've got a new train to put on today and we've got new the timing is perfect well it's actually february but uh yes so we've got new trucks and uh, one of them is a specialized truck we're going to zoom out here we've got the ui up we've got plenty of money to play with we don't have any debt it shouldn't cost us too much to upgrade our train which is what we're going to do shortly then we're going to add that new connection in in saint stefan and i'm looking forward to that as well and get to either another branch line or extend our current train and have a look at that as well I was saying, yes, yeah, specialized trucks. They tend to carry a little bit more for your money. That should be handy for us if I don't think that they were flatbeds, weren't they? I don't think they were for what we're delivering. Oh, hang on, we have logs over here, don't we? Should we quickly do that? 
we can put the specialised trucks on instead of these. These are probably not meeting. We should do this methodically, shouldn't we? Let's check the line rate. Yeah, well, you can see there we're not keeping up at all. Let's see what we can see. We've got a rate of 41 at the moment. These new trucks are no doubt going to improve that immensely. Let's have a look at the forest. Yeah, we're only transporting 11%. Yeah, let's upgrade that and then we'll get a little bit more throughput without having to increase the number of vehicles. Let's see what we've got. Cargo. Are these the specialised ones? There we go. We've got logs and planks that these can take. They can also take construction materials. So yes, we're going to get those as well. They have a capacity of eight. Whereas, yeah, so you get a bonus one. Look at that. So the, uh, the carry all, which could indeed carry the logs but it carries one less so you can utilize these uh, fancy fancy flatbeds with side stakes let's see what that does for our rate it shouldn't change too much it's already gone up a little bit hasn't it 65 that's a little better isn't it and uh, there's our trucks in brown that's better isn't it so we'll update those around our network they're going to make us even more money than our current ones are doing which means we're going to have more money to play with which is good because we've got to start thinking about mountain railways and uh, big old tunnels which happen a lot in switzerland right now changing this train that's what we've got to do we've got to put our new one on haven't we it's this line here uh, we'll do one at a time and we'll see what we can see what we can do with these we're just going to use the modify tool. Currently we have two locos on. This is the one that unlocked at the end of the last episode. And they have a top speed of 100 kilometers an hour. And it's 5 million per loco. And the running cost is 833,000. The current ones we have on is one of these. I don't know which one it is. Probably the more powerful one. Two and a, so about the same as two of these. Not far off. But uh, we only have to run one of them on here instead. That's that's my thinking. Uh, we'll add that one on. Modify for... Yeah, don't modify that. I'm not sure how that would go. <laughs> we, just, we just have a load of wagons on the track. That wouldn't be very useful, would it? So there, we've selected this one. There's a white one as well. Now, these are supposed to be express trains. So passenger trains, however... We're, they're the beefiest thing we've got and it's a it's a mod isn't it we want to look at nice mods so we're going to use them anyway uh, if you would have selected the white one and add the white one you'll see that it uh, puts the white one on while we're down this end and yes it's a, it's about the same stats isn't it well i mean we can possibly check the condition very bad yeah we've got to we've got to change that one as well there we go that one's modified oh that one's modified Okay, it kind of ignores these, doesn't it, when they're ticked. So if we bring this up, we can keep the details up, and then we can, uh, there we go. Not enough power. Okay, I, well, okay, I don't know what, uh, because it's empty, right? I would imagine that's the case. Details. What about this one? Uh, mediocre. No, 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 we're okay. Yeah, so the one when you're purchasing it is probably empty. This doesn't actually have a, enough power. Our current setup, our current trains don't have enough power to get up a high grade. The newer train is still better though. We do tend to do a little better on uh, slopes, don't we? Just a little bit. Let's, let's go over that again. Yes, yes, by quite a way. Okay. It's an all-round upgrade, isn't it? We'll do it. We're doing it, guys. We'll have another one on there. We could put the white one on as well. Uh, let's click off and click on again. There we go. We'll do that. We'll. Uh, should we have a white one? Sure. Let's put the white one on as well. I mean, they're, they're identical, I believe. This one. Oh, it has more emissions. No, because you. We have to go through town. We might find a place with a white one. We could always colour it white anyway. Okay, modify that one. There we go. All done. So, we've got new trains on. How is our passenger service doing? It's, do you know, it's getting busier, isn't it? We might need to put a uh, another wagon back on this. Depends. 
We're currently taking 30 people already. It's making us a profit as well. Look at that. That's lovely. All right, shall we do that then? Um, add another wagon on. Let's check over this way. How many people? Do we already have 50 people waiting here. Down in Schmidt. So yes, yes. Another wagon for you. Well, that's good news, isn't it? Right, manage vehicle. We'll modify this and we'll throw that wagon back on. Wow, this is a, a really popular surface service and it's going to get even more popular. So what's our capacity now? It's probably still not enough. That's only 55. Guys, I absolutely love it. This is awesome. Now, St. Stefan, with this hooked up as well, that means we're going to get even more use out of this whole line because we're going to continue up like we have done and then find a nice place for our station here in real life it would probably be somewhere up here there would be another station link i believe further up on the line which is where it terminates so the station would be up here somewhere and then there's an airport as well so what we could do is have this as the termination point and put it here uh, at the end of the town and then that way, our return journey will have a tram run all the way down, which will be an equivalent of light rail, down into Frutigen there. Yeah, but for now, we could just have a bus, couldn't we? Well, guys, our first electric train. Goodness me, already? What's the year? 1913, we have a B. A B. <laughs> we have a B. 57. BE57? I don't know. It, I don't know how you pronounce that. Goodness me. Um, well, after all that, is that going to be our new passenger train? We have to get this electrified early, don't we? I mean, pretty much everything's electrified down here. Uh, this way. Switzerland were uh, on the ball, as it were, with electrification. Well, let's get this station in, shall we? It's, it's all unlocking a bit quick, isn't it? I like it. Right. What do we want? Just a normal one? I guess we could have a terminus. I don't know. I feel like we'll go with the uh, just this one. It doesn't need to be big. 1913. I always thought that the electrification unlocked in 1925. I guess that's just the road upgrades. So, all right, we'll do it. We'll probably make some sort of uh, exchange or interchange. I do want it like this, though, because we could sort of replicate how the actual station is a little bit. Uh, which means we're going to need to modify this a touch. It's kind of got a, a floating platform in the middle. I don't know how that works, so we're going to experiment a little bit. Let's delete all of this then. We're going to redo it so it looks more like uh, the actual station looks. And we're going to have tracks this side. I guess all we need is like a little access platform, right? That's all we'll need if we keep it in the middle ish we'll put that there and then we can attach our passenger building uh, to that it doesn't need to be big something like that will be absolutely fine i i like it it's electrified which is even better news perhaps this will be our first electric train we could electrify this couldn't we absolutely that's what we're doing i have decided right then can fit although you don't have the option to electrify Right. Okay, well, we can do it afterwards, can't we? <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? I don't know what's going on on there at all. It doesn't have really much of a covering on it, so we'll just have a little shelter there in the middle. Perfect. So can we actually electrify track? That might put a, a dampener on things, right? <laughs> if we can't actually electrify. Oh, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Fine. Right, we're doing it then, guys. We're having a an electric train running this route now let's see if we can't replicate this station just a little bit we're going to build the rest of this track we do have catenary settings they're over here this doesn't have them did i miss it no you can't do it in here though there's no nothing it doesn't matter though we can do it afterwards can't we it's fine unless i'm missing it and i've completely forgotten how to play the game but uh, that's entirely possible we've got to finagle this a little bit we're going to make a little bit of a cutting down the side here because we want to be heading up to the road there and our track and it's not going to be absolutely spot on but we are going to give it a good go at the very least so this has a siding 
uh, like a little bit of a siding here that runs up alongside and then uh, we're going to do the fences like it like it does in uh, in real life we also have the no masts tool so if any of our junctions mess up we can remove them and even add the uh, masts in there ourselves with uh, i believe we've got an asset for it so we don't have to worry now about electrification and and masts getting in the way which is great news so there we go that's that there's also another track down the side here we're going to have it over there and get rid of that like so there's a bit of a gap between them so we can do that and have a separate section over here and it doesn't need to be too perfect there we go but we don't have to do it like that where there's a, a million different masts up so there we go we've got the distance from from the uh, station which is what i like and we're using the straight track perfect keep that nice and flat so we can do our junctions and then we we're going to come round up here I've had a look on the map and it almost looks like it's a freight yard of some sort or a small freight yard so we're going to make like a fancy area right next to this it's sort of a mountain isn't it mini mountain next to this mini mountain now we need to bring this out this way we're going to have a little siding up here too like that that's just going to go off alongside it I like it it just adds to the scenery, doesn't it? Gives each station its own character. And then what we're going to do with these is m pretend that they're sidings where the train will turn around and uh, change lines, etc. So we can do that. But let's give it a little bit of a run first. In fact, this is a siding, so we can level that one with that one and then cross over. And there's our sidings where it uh, ends for us. Isn't that fantastic? I love it. And then this one is going to head up into here, like so. And that would be the turnaround for the little locos. I would say that's not far off from, uh, from how St. Stefan looks. Now we need to continue our lineup. Oh, I love this. I absolutely love this rock face that's going on next to our track. It's going to be a lovely, in fact, you want to be using that, don't you? Yeah. Let's use the curvy tool and then it'll be tidier. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That's going to be a lovely, lovely little ride. I guess we're going to be having a cab ride on this at the end. We're not going to take this much further. Uh, it's going to come in like so. There we go. That's all that done. We'll flatten this out. It hasn't really cost as much, has it? I prefer you to be something like that, to be fair. We'll get the brush size down because you, you're kind of interfering with the mountain side there. If we're not careful, we'll get all this flattened out. Hey, I've not said official episode for the longest time, if anybody remembers that. But we've had plenty, haven't we? I, I, I do like my smoothing. There, we're in. I like you. We need to connect you up. We're probably going to have like an interchange, like I said here. Uh, a bus depot, or, and then eventually it will turn it into... Uh, a tram once we can get our one-way streets in now if everything has gone according to plan we should be able to just slide in like that it's perfect guys it's absolutely perfect we're gonna have to upgrade this track aren't we this is now gonna be an electrified mountain railway i love it or valley railway i should say so we're gonna get all this done which means we're gonna have to electrify into the station I guess we can just go up in here for now. That might be the best idea for us. Something like that. Did it electrify the whole thing? Or just one platform? This is brilliant. I don't know if you remember way back in Transport Fever. If you electrified a station, it would electrify the whole lot. We just managed to electrify a single platform. Oh, it's awesome. So there we go. We're having a little electrified uh, railway going on i think we've got the uh the catenary going all the way across there yep i can't see any breaks in the line oh do you know what we're gonna need though you're not thinking are you grand <laughs> we're, we're playing the one depot rule <laughs> how are we gonna get there i guess we're gonna have to uh, start preparing electrification because we need to uh, get our train over there and back so at this point is where the electrification begins and we're going to have to do it all the way through, aren't we? Yeah. Well, we can prepare, can't we? We can 
We can prepare. We can have it run down this center one, maybe. Oh, just just do the lock, Brand. You might as well just do the lock. There's a bit of a stutter there when it's uh, trying to do that. That should be fine for now, I think. Should we do the lock? It, it's kind of tempting, isn't it? And then we've got uh, no worries then later on. Yeah, let's do all of this section and then we can make sure everything's working okay. There we go, we're all electrified. We might need to test out that tool if we have any wayward mast feet <laughs> sitting on the sitting on the track, but it looks like we're okay. I can't believe we're electrifying in 1913, that's brilliant. Yeah, it's a bit close that one, isn't it? This one just here. I don't know how this uh, new tool works, so we're gonna we're gonna see if we do that, and we just upgrade that section with catenary. Does it remove the foot? Not really. There. If you do something like that, we're still electro. That's perp. I love this. We're still electrified, but we've managed to get rid of that bit of track there. Wow. Oh dear. Well, that's more of a freight train, isn't it? We might need to use that one as well. We've got new boats as well. I might need to pause the date. How, how long has this episode been going? We've only been going 30 minutes. Surely not even that, I would imagine. Let's tidy up these. You know what? Should we pause the date a little bit or slow it down? Let's slow it down to a quarter. That's going way too quick. I, I, I can't keep up. I think the rest of the masts are okay. I'd probably like to get rid of that one just there. So let's give that a go. There are oh, this new toy. I love it. I love it. So we're going to change that one and that one. How do we get rid of that? There it is. It goes there. You can see it get rid of all of those. I kind of only want to get rid of a little bit though. Maybe we can finagle it somehow. Uh, if we bring it in there, we put them in the middle. That's better, isn't it? There we go. I mean, they are a bit floaty, granted. That puts it back just there, you see. You see, it shows you where it's going to put them. Yeah, so we'll leave it as is. So this one can just be normal. It's this, this bit of track here that puts the feet down there. There we go. I like that. That keeps them off the track. We're done. We're done. I think we're, we're looking good. This one I do not like, you see. That one's too close. I guess I can do these off off camera at some point uh, we can get rid of that one and no this one you'd have to do which gets rid of the lot all right that's not what I had in mind really can we hold shift and just get rid of a few there we go if we just hold shift and put it there yeah that's better that would sort of work it's a bit floaty but I'll take it are we happy guys are we all in should we get an, an electric train on? I guess we're going to have a separate train doing this. Just one backwards and forwards up here. But we need to connect it first, don't you? You can't just go ahead and do that. First electric train. What are we on? Episode 14? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. This is brilliant. All right, get in here. How are we going to do that? Should we have this as a turnaround to start with? And then we'll kind of expand it. Or should we plan it for the future? which means we can just go 30, 30 meters like that and have a pass through. And then we can have a bus and a tram or the Metro as it will be. I like that idea. It gives us uh, options in the future, doesn't it? And that way we can come around there like that. Right, let's get the streets in. We don't have the new streets yet. Uh, let's go curvy. We'll bring you around like that. Keep you flat until we head off up to there. Sure, we'll remove their houses. It's the price of progress. Like, is it? Is it really though? Yes. Should we, uh, should we branch off here so, like that? And then we can bring this round and hopefully they'll build something uh, out that way. Yep, we're, we're just destroying the town for now. Apparently, that's what we're doing. We'll do that like that and we'll have it run down the side. Maybe... They'll build some houses down here. We'll keep it flat like that. And then hopefully they can build some industries of some sort down there anyway. We'll see. We'll flatten all this out for them. There they go. They're re rebuilding. They're, they're probably excited for what we're about to do. Okay, let's get uh, let's get this 
a bit bigger and smoothed out. Get the strength right up as well. There we go. Lovely. I would like this to be all built up by the time we're finished. Get all that smoothed out, all of that. I guess eventually I'll, I'll go ahead and paint all this because we can get this. Uh, it's kind of a dirt effect around here rather than a a ballasty type look. Oh, I mean, I guess it might be dirty ballast, but I like this idea as something different. I actually, I prefer to keep the ballast edge on there. That's that's unfortunate. Let's delete that back. Keep, keep your bits of ballast on. I didn't mean to delete those. There we go. Now we can change to the dirt and I'll not hold shift <laughs> because I do like the little bits of ballast that uh, lean over onto the onto the edge of the track there. There we go. Just like that. Just some dirt on the floor. Again, give it some character. That bit can be ballast, can't it? Do we have ballast? Yes, we do. There we go. Just fill that bit in like that, just gently. Yeah, I like that. And we're in. We're in. Now we've got this connection. Make sure we're all connected. We already reach a lot of uh, Saint Stefan there. Half of our job is already done. We could continue that around, couldn't we? Before they go and try and climb all over the, the edge there. Because I like this being almost level with the track. It's probably perfectly level, in fact. We don't... Oh, no, that's not what we want to do. Oh, thank goodness we have a delete tool. Yes, we're in. Guys, we're in. Am I happy now? Sort of. Right, let's create the line. New line. We're going from the passenger station in Zweisimmen all the way up to St. Stefan here. And uh, we're going to have this green like that because I like green out here. We've got blue. We've got green. This is kind of an extension of that one. Do we want it stopping there? Possibly not. One is the baby little platform and it's stopping on two. Yeah, no, well, do you know what? We'll, we'll have it stop in two. Oh, do you know what we need? We could put a little, uh, we could put a little underpass on here, couldn't we? In MISC, this, we can just put that like that so they can get to, uh, so it looks like they're not walking across the track. Although technically they kind of are. Now it looks legit. So they walk across, well, no, I don't like that. Why are you all the way over there? We'll redo that. Get rid of that one. There we go. And we'll put that one under the under the little covering there. The oh, so you come out under the covering. Do we like that? That that makes more sense, doesn't it? Like a little tunnel underneath. Perfect. Right. Anyway, we're not finished with this line. Uh, it's not going to be called line one, is it? Am I renaming something different here? No. Oh, Zed. That's what we're calling it, guys. <laughs> we're calling it Zed. I need to bring up this so I can see the name of the towns. I don't want to spell them wrong. Uh, watch me spell it, spell them wrong. Zweisimmen to St. Stefan. Perfect. Oh, I thought I changed it to Spitz then. There we go. These two kind of cross over, don't they? I like it. Should we get our train on? We're getting our first electric train. And I guess we can use uh, the, the uh, bigger passenger wagons for these. Let's buy vehicles. We need an electric locomotive, which is the BE-57. So this might be a mod. This might actually be a mod. Yes, it's... Uh, oh, it poss possibly is a mod. Well, this is great news. We're going to put it on. Let's do it. We've got a mod, guys. Uh, I don't know whether... I, I'm not very good at reading German. I can't tell if that says that it's a passenger train or a, or a freight train. It's beefy. What's the power like? And look at that attractive effort. That's what I like about electric trains. It's absolutely going to cost us a fortune. We don't care, do we? Let's get these bigger ones on. What's the speed of this? It only does 75. Well, that's not worth it, is it? This one does 60. Well, we could squeeze a bit more. It'd kind of be like an express shuttle to, <laughs> to St. Stefan up there. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We can have a look at different passenger wagons then, can't we? It should be able to haul these, no problems. Uh, how many should we need? Three? Just like a little train? A little shuttle, almost like a tram. We're doing it. It's 9k. 9k? I wish. 9 million. Set line. No, you can't see the line from here. 
There we go. Will you find your way? No, we've got some uh, we've got some missing electrification somewhere, no doubt. And where is it though? What can't you reach? Could not connect all stations. Can you not? I think you can though, can't you? Manage line. Let's take a look. It's electrification, guys, every time. All of this is electrified, isn't it? Surely. I did do all this. Yeah, that's electrified. That's electrified. What can't you get to? Let's see. Terminal 3, not combinable. Terminal 2, not combinable. Is that where we're stopping here? Because there's only one platform, isn't there? That's electrified. Uh, terminals. It's Ah, there we go. There we go. It's trying to stop on something. It can't get to. This is, we've found it. We've got it. You need to stop on five is the electrified platform. There we go. Look at that. We fixed it. And here comes our train. Little electric train. Guys, it's going to stop here. And uh, just to get going. No. It's the actual train. Of course I've got the pack. This is from the same author that made the map. Oh, we have an actual we have an actual Swiss train from this area. It's got the name on the side. Oh, that's fantastic. I am all sorts of happy right now. Isn't that a lovely little loco? I don't know what you're waiting for at the moment. Does his nose probably stick over the, the signal there? What's going on here? I bet we don't have... I'll tell you what it is. Yeah, we don't have these. We need kind of a one-way signal here to uh, to hold them up. So we'll get a one-way signal. Two-way signal, sorry, not one-way. One-way will break it entirely. And if we put that, it should free these trains. There we go. And it doesn't matter having it here, but you can have one at the uh, beginning of the single track there when it's just one train like that running it. So there we go. It's freed our freight train, our little our little passenger service there, which looks stunning. I'm just going to say I am all sorts of happy with that. Can you can we get inside? It's probably not got much inside, but we can have a look, right? Am I in? Oh, there we are. There he is. We can see that driver. Oh, it's got a little a couple of little handles in there. It's a cozy little cabin and got some valves and some dials on the side there. Oh, it's, it's lovely. I like it. Yeah, I like this train. Good detail on it. So there's our new loco, guys. It can run both ways. And away it goes. Oh, they don't turn, do they? They, they don't turn. That's like an entire section. Well, that should be enough. I guess you're going to have to be careful about your uh, about your turns. Oh, we're going in our little tunnel. Hello. Wow, that's just not struggling at all. We'll have to uh, we'll have to check up on that. Power rating, excellent. Yeah, you're not really going to struggle with that. It's a little bit overkill, admittedly. However, she's a beauty. So absolutely worth it. It looks stunning. And it's very fitting for the... Uh, oh, look at all this different grade ch change that only only a, an electric train could really deal with. The way she goes. Are we going to see people on there before the end of the episode? We've got... Should we... Before we uh, take a look at that, we can uh, head over this way. Should we add a couple of the new boats on? I don't know whether they're for us. Maybe these, this longer route... That we've got going on it's a bit of a bit of a journey isn't it it's actually quite busy and we don't even have the bus in there yeah let's quickly take a look at this ship that we've got uh replace selected vehicle here they are oh it's for this it's actually for this lake loachberg the reason i've avoided saying what this area is is because i've not had much practice in the pronunciation you thought i would this one looks like a submarine. <laughs> First glance, but what is it? It's an oil tanker. I don't know whether we're going to uh, make use of that. We have this one, the Schaffhausen as well. Yeah, sure, we've got to do this, haven't we? What is it like compared to the... What are we currently using? These? 
I think it's these. It's not the Klondike. It's the the smaller ones. Uh, it's going to cost us a small fortune, but look at the capacity. Maybe we can get rid of one of these. That that might be an idea, and just have the single beefy boat on there. I like it, which means we'll replace this one that's very bad, and we'll sell the one that we might still get a bit of money for. Right, sell you. I know it's got 39 people on, but uh, needs must. We've just vaporized you. Right, manage vehicle. Replace, we're going to have this on. It's only going to cost us 2 million. We're spending money today, aren't we? Should we take a look at this then? It's going to carry far more people. Oh, yes. Look, we've got the Swiss flag on the back as well. Just kind of hanging there. Oh, it's waving. <laughs> there it goes. Yeah, I like that. Oh, and it has the name of the map or the area on the side there. Do we like it, guys? We're getting all uh, areas specific here, aren't we? We'll probably um, have these running all along here then. I don't know if they're uh, colorable or anything, but they look great. So we've got a couple of new, uh, new vehicles. Should we update this? Have we met... Uh, capacity here have we managed to upgrade it no so these new trucks are probably gonna look how close we got we're almost into level two which will uh, double the amount we can take to it right let's do it this might actually just clip it over the top there okay we are going to change all of these to these new trucks we're going to have to use these because these don't take stone so we're going to have to use the uh, does everything what is our old one 25 kilometers an hour these do 40 which is the same speed as the, the the baby road if i remember correctly we can double check but i think that's right and it's got capacity of seven i think the power is going to be key here as well yeah look at that two more two more but it's powerful it can get up and over these little hills here right that's going to cost us three million perfect it might be a bit overkill. We may saturate the line briefly. However, what we can do is quickly go over to here as well. Get these upgraded because these are not keeping up. We just look down there. We're doing a rate of 58 currently down into uh, Steffisburg there. So if we look, what do you actually need? Yeah, you need 97. We'll head back down here do the manage line we can get no not manage line do the manage vehicles we can upgrade these can't we and then i'll check on uh, the speed of the roads just to, just to make sure but we can use these specialized benzes you know, before they were mercedes with construction material there we go right we got them on what i'll do then is uh, before the next episode i'll upgrade the rest of our trucks and we'll have a bit more income yeah look at those they're much quicker, aren't they? Yeah, they're up to speed. We don't need to check the roads. Although, is that the fatter road? I think that's the fatter road. Well, do you know what, Grand? Just go in here. 40 kilometers an hour. There we go. There we go. Answered. Perfect. We've got a new ship on. We've got new boats on. We've got new trucks. We've got everything. It's, oh, it's amazing. Uh, have I forgot any bus? No, you've already checked before the episode. And you went through every single line. Well, actually, that, that's, it's not quite like that. I clicked on this and uh, ordered by cargo type. And then you can see really quickly which buses have not been changed. There we go. All your buses are perfect. And then it changes to logs. So if you organize that by cargo type, nice and easy. Uh, so are you full? Absolutely full. And are people still waiting? You, you sort of getting there aren't you there might have been a little bit of uh, backlog there so they were still leaving people at the platform and they were willing to wait because it's not overcrowded all right there goes our little no that's our little mountain railway it only has six people on it that's fine it's a cheap train <laughs> to run it, it she's beautiful we've got a much bigger one that's heading up this way it's already got three people on it it's a bit pricey for three people, but it, it's got three people on. Yeah, and then we'll connect up. What are we doing next time out then? We should connect this up via a bus service to start with. 
We've kept the, the date a bit slower because all of that was going a little bit crazy. Should I do these off camera? Oh, I just want to check this one because they're our money earners. 86, yeah, let's upgrade these. Let's do it. You know I can't help myself. I want to make more money. Our money took a bit of a beating there, but we went crazy on the shopping, didn't we? Uh, manage vehicles, that's what you want. All of them, please, just make sure. Now we're going to have to use these again. We don't have dumper trucks or tipper trucks or anything like that just yet. That should boost the line rate there. 121. It's actually overdone it by a lot. Because we can only take 100. Because you need to do these. So much for doing this off camera because I can't help myself manage vehicle. But I can do it really quick. We need these ones. There we go. Just in time. And you're going to pick up a full load of 8 instead of 5 which is way more money for us there we go that's going to increase that rate for us we'll check on the rates and stuff we'll probably modify these in fact i would say we can get rid of one for now this is going to be absolutely saturated yeah we've got way too many on here let's get rid of a couple for now get rid of you and get rid of you save some money right otherwise they're just going to be running empty most of the time they got like two on it will change though what's the rate we've got here bring up the uh the line we've got 151 we only need 100 there's quite a few we can get rid of however if this upgrades to a level two which it might do now that we've upgraded these trucks and we're going to be delivering a little over what is that it's going to be like 80 percent, something like that then we're going to see this this upgrade and require 200 stone from our quarry up there and uh, we'll need to put more trucks back on which is going to be so much money for us which we're going to spend rather quickly what do we do then yeah let's let's hook that little bus line up when we come back and start thinking about extending our main line soon Possibly want to get this bread situation underway. We've also got this little town up here that could do with a bus service of some sort coming down. Just a little country bus service. And we've still got Brienz that needs to be hooked up by a ferry to start with, just down here. Eventually, it's going to get its own rail service. Uh, it runs along from Interlaken, crosses the river and down. I believe but I'll double check that before we do it guys that's been a fun one that was a lot of spending wasn't it and we've got our first electric train can't believe it this road still needs connecting up pretend that isn't a thing are you nice and full I think you've got a different wagon no you've got a new wagon on the back you can see the dirty roof of the older ones and then a brand spanky new one on the back you're full Guys, before we leave, uh, let's throw another wagon on the back there. You're going to have an, an even... Oh, no, you didn't do anything, did you? you got to add it. There we go. Modify. <laughs> That's better. There we go. you got two new newish wagons on the back and then some old ones. He should be able to cope with that just fine. Uh, where's our electric train? You're pretty nippy. Oh, you know what you need? Yeah, you've got no... Uh, similar to what we've got here. You need a one-way signal. A two-way signal. Stop saying one-way. A two-way signal just there. Coming out the tunnel onto that line. Otherwise, you'll wait all the way back at the station. This is a bit of a nightmare situation as far as signaling is going. However, I feel I've got it under, under control. We'll see. We'll see. We'll keep an eye on that. I guess we're heading this way. There we go. This is where we'll end it. Looking forward to this little cab ride. I don't know... We could kind of sit up near the catenary, which I do not recommend. There we go. We sit up there. We can see lots, can't we? Guys, that has been episode 14. Can I get this up in time? <laughs> it's it's now quarter past seven. So we'll see. I've got to get this up by uh, 12 my time. Uh, six in the UK. So wish me luck. Hopefully, I've still got to edit it as well. <laughs> and there's a lot. There's always a lot. I am an hour a lot. Well, I'm just going to sit back and watch this. That's not going to get it uploaded, is it? No, grand end it. Right, thanks for watching, guys, and until next time.
Take care.